Hi, I'm Tracy Matthews of Flourish and Thrive Academy. Today I'm here to talk about how to tell a story with every part of your jewelry business. Jewelry is a fantasy product. It's not something that any of us need, but it is something that we want. Wearing jewelry makes you feel wonderful, sort of like you're in a storyline. Telling a story with your branding, if done right, fulfills a fantasy your dream clients will love. Branding is a buzzword that gets tossed around a whole bunch in the entrepreneurial community. After you hear you need to work on your branding enough times, the word begins to lose its meaning. Although the word itself may be overused, the importance of the concept should never be underestimated. Branding encompasses everything from your personal journey, your design aesthetic, your packaging, your visual marketing, your messaging, and all of your proprietary materials and everything in between. It can even include you as a designer. And all of these things create a story. So let's talk about how to tell a story with every part of your jewelry business. To start, let's break down the word branding into the bare essentials. In its essence, good branding means having a clear message that resonates consistently through every aspect of your business. This includes your designs, the materials of your products, your packaging, your pricing, your web presence, your logo and any sort of design features on your website, the copy in your newsletter, what you post on social media, and what you blog about. Oh, and everything else pretty much that you can think of. In my opinion, your brand isn't something you necessarily choose. It's already something resonating from the intersection between three elements. Your personal story, your signature style, your dream client's expectations. Your job is to draw out the essence and then stamp it out on everything that you do. So let's do an example. Pretend like you're a yoga jewelry designer. You are deeply inspired by yoga, your designs emulate nature, and your dream clients shop at Whole Foods. These three simple sentences, when read together, scream sustainability, and your branding goals should be pretty straightforward. Your materials should be carefully sourced, your website should use a natural color palette, you should blog about eco-friendly practices, and you should consider packaging your products with biodegradable materials. Sure, some of these changes may make your products a little bit more expensive, but your dream client is willing to pay a little bit extra as long as they know they're paying for sustainability. And they know because you've plastered it all over every aspect of your business and your branding. That makes sense, right? So here's a quick exercise for you. Write down how you would define your brand in one or two sentences. And now put that aside. Write a quick paragraph about your story, maybe inspirations, your history, and your accolades. And then describe your signature style. Write a quick paragraph profiling your dream client. And if you've already taken our dream client intensive, you probably already have this. And now grab your original definition of your brand and reread it. Does it pull the three elements together? If not, rewrite it so it does. Take your finalized brand description and use it as a measuring stick to analyze each element of your business. Remember, all branding boils down to is telling your unique story as a designer as it emulates into all of your assets. I've learned a lot about improving my story and my personal brand from one of the best at online branding, Marie Forleo. If you haven't checked out her B-School program, you definitely should. By using her tactics and branding suggestions to tell my story, I doubled my revenue goal, hit my first month of 30,000 in profits within just a few short months. It was amazing. Click the links below this video to check out what it's all about. Now it's your turn. I want to hear your story, so in the comments below, answer these few questions. How are you telling a story with your branding? And write down one action step that you will take after watching this video. If you found this video useful, make sure you like the video, follow our channel, and share it with your friends. Pop on over to flourishthriveacademy.com for more jewelry business advice and free training.